pitcher, Jordano Ventura. Sunday morning, Royals fans woke up to the dreadful news that star pitcher Yordano Ventura had passed away in a car crash in his native Dominican Republic at the age of 25. Yordano was an exciting player to watch as he brought a lot of fire to the game with his consistent upper 90s fastball as well as his emotions. While Ventura's emotions sometimes got the best of him, Ventura talk. I don't know. What's he talking about? Right about attack. Right up at yeah, they'll have some words for Ventura right now. He was always a kind, heartfelt person. All right. So now, I did it for a, uh, for a little bit. You know, I had to uh, help this uh, young brother out, you know. But uh, he's getting better with his English. He's just, uh, you know, a little shy sometimes. But he'd be good. He'd be good here. Thank you for the glad family. Thank you, Dayton, for today you had to, you were, you know, like, we like like that, you know. And today I tried my English, you know, by everybody here. And I tried to pay better. So, thank you, KC fan. And we love you, and we play hard every day for you. Thank you. He brought an energy to the game that few could match, and Royals fans have many fun memories of him to look back on. On Sunday night, the day of his death, there was a vigil held at Coffin Stadium for fans and teammates to pay their respects. Many Royals staff and players attended Ventura's funeral in the Dominican Republic. It's special for us to come out here, you know, it's, um, you see where Jordano grew up, you see his hometown, and you see all the support he has from his family and friends here, and, uh, you know, for us to, to get to be able to catch up and kind of spend the afternoon with them and just uh, hear from them how much we all meant to them, how much Jordano meant to them and, and this city is, uh, it gives us a, a great amount of appreciation for, for our brother we lost. Jordano Ventura will always be a fond memory in the hearts of Kansas Cityans forever and he will be missed dearly. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Adam Cook.